So hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So another content here at the Auto Hub 25th anniversary. So I just did a tour of the all new Lotus Electric Electric SUV. Now I'm sitting in probably one of the most emotional supercars ever made. This is the 2024 Nissan GTR R35 and possibly the last R35 or probably GTR that will ever be made. It's a little bit sad and special at the same time since this is my first and probably my only time that I'll be sitting in a GTR and hopefully Nissan Philippines let me drive one of these before they all go out please. <laughs> now on its third phase there's been a lot of changes. The grill no longer have the V-Motion grills so that part is just now all body colored. You get LED lights and a very lovely hexagonal DRLs just down below. Ground clearance is at an alarming 110 millimeters, which is pretty alright too for a supercar in this class. On the side profile, it's your usual GTR. Nothing much changed. You get vents on either side. And the rear of this is as well one of the most iconic uh, designs for any supercar out there. You get the signature quad taillight, like with every other GTR slash Skyline. Up front, you get 25540 series tires with 6 piston Brembo brake collectors and at the rear you get a larger of 285 35 series tires now only with a 4 piston rear caliper the large spoiler too at the rear boot space is pretty generous too it is at 315 liters so basically you can fit one stick there just there at the rear firing this behemoth is a hand built 3.8 liter twin turbocharged V6 engine that produces 565 horsepower and 637 newton meters of torque mated to, to a 6 speed dual clutch transmission so apologies for all of the background noises there's someone performing here at the moment but goes to show to NVH pretty good even though you don't have glove, uh, double glazed windows here and there goes to show uh, Nissan did a very good job in building this GTR and the engine too is probably as well one of the most unique this one's hand built by Sunu yeah, I forgot the last minute but anyway this is the one who made this and as I time remember too every GTR back even the, including the first one is built in a controlled temperature room so every other GTR could produce more than the claim figure of again 565 horsepower the figures are pretty much the same like with the second phase lift model and two this one's mated to the Atesa all-wheel drive system which is as well one of the best all-wheel drive systems out there and as well in any supercar too here in the interior so here in the dark red, so apologies it's all plastic however though you get a lot of leather material no plastic here whatsoever which is a very good thing here on the left side you get your side mirror adjustments and then for a boot release parking sensor and then another button here i don't know what this does and then i think this is for your traction control system i don't know what a afs is so just correct me down in the comments down below and here visually overall here in the interior okay it may look dated however i can forgive it since this is my first time in a gtr looks pretty much the same apart from the upgraded uh 8 inch infotainment systems still no android auto and apple carplay however though uh, in other markets it's already available so i assume you can do the one you can buy that's where you can just plug it and android auto and apple carplay will connect hopefully we'll know in the future and two this gtr is equipped with 11 bose speakers all around and everywhere here in the center console besides your around in your gear shift for your infotainment functions your cup holder your hand manual handbrake it's all carbon fiber this is so special to sit in and two more carbon fiber setup here in your instrument cluster pretty much the same since its inception back in 2008 i don't mind it uh, whatsoever because i'm an old school guy anyways so here in your steering wheel very nice to the touch plush leather too and then you have plastic paddle shifters all around i don't mind it at least nissan did a good job in making this look good then below the infotainment system you get two air conditioning vents climate control functions and the most important buttons in every gtr you get your race and save functions here for your launch control for all wheel drive your suspension and for the traction control so one day i will flick this all to r and off to launch this hopefully soon in the future glove box okay pretty all right this is pretty decent for a sports car seats here pretty good they're all plush leather too we get electronic adjustments for both front seats too and it, I like it's one circular knob only for reclining and uh, adjusting the seats forwards backwards up and down even for your thigh support which is pretty good so that's about here in front 
So I'm going to go to the rear seat. This is the rear seat. I mean, you can see my hair is already folded. So the space here, gotta be honest, is very much more or less the same like a Subaru BRZ. But like, I mean, even for my feet and leg room, I mean, I have that much uh, feet room because this seat, as you can see, is all the way forward. So imagine in my diving position. Knee room is tolerable and as you can see, this is strictly a 2 plus 2 vehicle. However, at least, in case you want to scare more people here in the back, you can at, at least add two more people. And then you get, again, both speakers here in the middle and a very lone cup folder right here. And yeah, that's about it here with this all-new Nissan GT. I finally got to uh, sit in one of these. So this is another big talking point with this last ever third facelift uh, GTR. So for the cost of all of this, this has a significant price increase. I mean, again, this is a, right, a new ve new vehicle already. So the old one used to cost 7,350,000 pesos back in 2017. This one now costs 12,445,000 pesos. Wow. So this is to the third most expensive thing I've ever ridden so far. Time and time again, this R35 has been with us for quite some time but still this proves to be one of the best supercars in the world and hopefully we will get to drive this soon so i'd like to thank everyone here again at the auto hub 25th anniversary event here in btc to sir hip of nissan Quezon avenue so if you want to check out and buy out to last ever gtr r35 may check them out at their dealer so hope you guys like and subscribe and i will see you hopefully with a test drive of this coming soon bye bye